My nose is red. It is quite cold today. Uh, we have, we are promised um, below zero temperatures this night and tomorrow. So I hope these are the last frosts of this year and then we will have only uh, warmer weather and all the plants can finally start growing and blooming and the bulbs and everything. And um, actually my bulbs on the, on the porch are just crazy, they're so huge. I can't wait to see them bloom because I don't know what they are. Those are all the bulbs, the surprise bulbs I found at the property, so we will see for the first time how they bloom. And I wanted to go and have a look at the bulbs in the garden, in the terrace garden. Every few days I'm coming to check on them if any of them started, but I can't see a single sign of growth because I planted here hyacinths, here and there, everywhere in this corner, and I can't see a single, a single shoot, nothing, just nothing, and I'm starting to worry. I can't see a single shoot from all 200 bulbs I planted here, nothing, there are a few here, in this corner and there are so many here but I can't see a single one the only ones I can see are that I planted way back the these ones I planted month a few months ago maybe even two months one of the first bulbs the irises here they are but nothing here all this area is full of bulbs. I hope they're doing well. I hope so much. Dutch irises though. Really happy. Look at the size of this shoot. Look at them. Huh. It was so windy. My garbage basket is flying away. It keeps flying. Oh, it goes in here. <sighs> and the day today is just lovely. It is really quiet, very cold, but quiet. And I have an icicle on the tip of my nose, <laughs> just growing. Oh, there is my glove there. And um, I can't see a single bulb. I can see the roses, the bare root roses. They're really well. Look at that. So look at this. Can you see that? This red, bright red note. This is sign of life <laughs> happening here. Look at that. This is a very good sign. And look at the grass that Sergio planted. It's popping up here everywhere. And it looks so happy. Oh, we are starting to have some color in this corner. Oh, it's so good. And um, no bulbs here so far. My baby strawberry. Hmm. Well, I'm happy to know that roses are happy. Um, yeah. Oh, the first primrose. Look at that. <laughs> the primrose of the garden. I think it's a big day today. And uh, no, none of new bulbs started. The old ones doing well. Look at the daffodils. These are the surprise daffodils bulbs. And we do know now that they are daffodils because I was thinking different things. And here are Dutch irises I planted many weeks ago. And the size of those is enormous. Mr. Agapantis looks really happy, very fat plant. Look at him. <laughs> and he's producing new leaves here and everything. It's really fat plant. Look at that. He's very happy. Why I think he's a boy, I don't know. He just looks like a boy. Very fatty one. <laughs> Um, my hydrangea, the strawberry heel, 
hydrangea I can't really tell if it's alive oh I hope it is well I don't know well it could be we will see I hope it is all right enough with the garden because I have a project to share with you a tiny little project while I am away um, and this is a special project <laughs> to to invite spring in Villa de Oro because we do need spring a lot we want to see lovely blooms and everything and birds jumping around so I have decided um, to make a wreath for the front door uh, and what can be better than bright yellow spring wreath made with mimosa and ta -da! <laughs> and it is the season and I'm really lucky to have my friend having a huge tree in her garden thanks to Charlotte um, she is the sponsor of this video <laughs> with her lovely and fluffy mimosa tree and uh, I will be creating a lovely fluffy wreath for the front door to invite spring in our house in our garden Also, as it is San Valentin, um, very soon, I might use this little figure I got at the charity shop for two euros. Um, on my wreath, I can place it somewhere at the bottom. I think it's a, it's a nice one. <laughs> and um, here are all the things I need for my wreath. This is a very old base I created with just some sticks and um, and wines. I, I, I keep using this maybe the second year. And then I have my cicatrices and the foliage, the mimosa, and I'm cleaning the stems to have something like that. So the bottom is clean and here we have a fluffy part looking like that, which I will be using. So first step is to create many, many of those to clean them and then we can start building the wreath. Just look at this one, how pretty she is, look at that, so fluffy and nice, it's like a little chick. <laughs> Actually, speaking about the chicks, uh, I would love to have a few chickens here in, in our garden, in, in a lovely chicken castle. <laughs> mm, and I know spring is the time to buy chickens. Uh, I might not buy the chicks because they're just too fragile. We used to have chickens and chicks at my parents' house. They, they still buy chicks and chickens every spring and they grow them, but it's just too, com not, it's not complicated, but you have to pay attention to, to, to grow them, to, to nurse them. So I'm not ready for that. Uh, I might buy just chickens, just really pretty fluffy ones. Um, not the cockerel. <laughs> we don't want cockerel at the house. It's just too noisy. And yeah. Anyway, uh, three chickens would be so three or four, but not now because we need to build a castle for them. It's not a project, <laughs> but maybe later, later in the spring, in April or May, maybe. <laughs> Pretty they are. So lovely. Oh. Okay. Okay, here they go. Now, uh, my base. The base looks like that. It's not perfect. 
I need to add more wines to that. Oh, I would love to have a glass of hot wine, of mulled wine. Mm. Shame we don't have any. That has to go. This is the old thing. Oops, that's good. And I keep one string attached to my wrist all the time and I reuse the same string until it breaks. And I will start with really fat branch with a really really fat one and I will start tying it like this one to to the wreath and um, like that oh this is so beautiful oh it is so nice all right so the first one will be going like that and I simply tie it like that with the string and then I keep it really tight and then I add one more like that maybe smaller I need small one like that I will put it here Here and maybe one more, like this one. It will go here. Oh, it is so lovely. This is the true spring for me. Oh, this is so lovely. Mm. Maybe one more. And then I will put, this is too big, and you actually, while you're building your wreath, you see what size you need. And you can choose whatever you like. And then if I see that there is something sticking out way too far, I just cut it down and it's nice. I think actually there is nothing easier than making a wreath. And maybe this, the fat one. Oh yes. Oh yes, you can see straight away, look at that. So we have that and then I got the fat one and it goes so perfect here, look at that. So the fat one goes here. All right, the wreath is ready and it is so pretty. Look at that. There is only one thing left to do. It is so super fluffy and nice. And the only thing is to place these two lovely angels um, in here. And it will be completed. Well, actually, I'm thinking the blue ribbon would be so lovely here, but we don't have any blue ribbons at the house. I might buy some in future and I can add it. But now I will place those angels in here.
my wreath is completed it is so fluffy and nice so sweet and now i have to find a place for it uh, we have two front doors so we have to decide which one is the best one. Oh, look how pretty it is <laughs> i'm so happy i got those at the charity shop they're perfect for saint valentine day so lovely <laughs> All right, we have to find a good spot for it. All right, now we have to decide, is it gonna be this door? We call it the jasmine entrance <laughs> because we have the jasmine plant here. So is it gonna be the jasmine entrance or the other one? I don't know, this one looks really sad. Hmm, well, I think we do need two wreath. Wreath? Is it wreath? This? Wreath? Two. Well, we, we need two of them. <laughs> but for now, we have only one, and this one will be going, I think, here by the Jasmine entrance. It is really lovely and just for St. Valentine's Day <laughs> I will center it in a second. But I like the contrast with the door. So so good. Now I think that tiny wreath, much smaller but really fluffy, would be so cool at the back of Apa Maria. <laughs> oh my god, um, shame I don't have more of uh, Mimosa. I would definitely make one more wreath for Apa. It would be so nice. But next time, once I'm back, I can do this project. Oh, my, my house. I can't believe I'm living for so long. Oh, I will be missing really much. All right. Good morning. I am still in Armenia. This is my last day. My mother is already back home. Uh, it is only one hour flight from here to where they live. So she is back home safe and happy <laughs> and already very busy. So my flight is late this evening. I'm arriving, I'm arriving midnight today and then I have to drive back, which is quite a journey, so yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really tired, relaxing. I want to get back to the house and continue my work actually. Uh, so tomorrow will be my first working day, I can't wait. And now um, I have to, what I have to do? I have to buy some bread to bring back to Sergi and I have to buy some pastry, some traditional pastry which Sergi loves, I will show you. So first stop is the bakery. I just had the most amazing lunch. I think this is the last meal for today. It's been too bad. They, they feed people too good, <laughs> too well. So, um, I had my favorite soup because my mother, she, she didn't allow me to have this soup with her because this is what she has every time back at home. And for me, it's, um, it's quite rare thing to eat this soup. So today when I'm on my own, I ordered this soup, the borscht, and I had a good plate with the sour cream. That was delicious. And um, the weather is good actually here. Here is the bakery I saw the other day 
and there was a huge queue here so I think it's a good place look at that look at this beauty oh well this is something <laughs> oh, look at that wow okay I have to I have to get some of those beautiful beautiful breads to bring back to surgery and if I have enough space in my bag maybe I can bring some more oh look at that here they are <laughs> uh, to give to our neighbors just like a little present so yeah look at that look at that it is warm <laughs> <laughs> Very funny thing, there are so many dogs in Yerevan. Look at him. Very happy boy sleeping <laughs> on the sun. And there are so many dogs like that. But all of the dogs have a little tag uh, in their ears and all of them seem to be really really fat <laughs> I saw people feeding them really well we offered them some pastry they didn't want all they want is the meat <laughs> because I could see people feeding them like real meat and they were really happy so this is very surprising this is something I really like about Yerevan all the dogs are very happy and and well fed. Oh, and this is the street where we live with my mama. Oh, I started liking it actually. <laughs> and here on the street we have the pastry shop now, which I will visit now and buy sweets for Sergi. Oh, the weather is just lovely today. Most of the buildings in Yerevan are built from this type of the stone and um, it can be different color tones but this is the local stone this is kind um, of volcanic rock so this is something really really special from here from this part of the world Here as well you can see the same type of rock used for building as well as here as well as here everywhere all right and here is <laughs> the heaven on earth look at that and I can see straight away straight away what I'm gonna buy I will buy this and this is the most delicious thing Good morning, it is half past two. I just arrived. I can't believe it. it's so good to be home. Oh, oh, that was a really tiring flight. It was a big delay, and then I couldn't find my rental car. It was a nightmare. Finally, I made it home with a huge delay, but I'm here. And now I have. Oh, Sergi is here. He's coming. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>